So now we're going to talk a little bit about EQing to control feedback. I think we all know what feedback is, right? It's that nasty, horrible, squealy noise. That's a dead giveaway of a sound team that's inexperienced. Uh, when a mic is set too sensitive because of improper gain structure or placement, you end up reamplifying the same signal again and again, creating a loop that grows exponentially. Some frequencies within that loop will grow faster and create a squeal known as feedback. You might say that feedback occurs when the mic is too hot and it's in the wrong spot. So, how do we fix this? We can get the mic closer to the singer's mouth so that we can bring the gain down to a safer level, and we can change the position of the monitor, feeding that mic back to them. So most feedback problems can be solved with proper mic placement and gain structure. However, there often can be certain frequencies that will just want to take off in feedback. So a great way to combat this is to run a graphic EQ on the output that feeds the monitors. With the output EQ, you can reduce thin notches of frequencies that are giving you problems, only on the signal that comes out of the monitor. This will reduce the cycle of feedback at those frequencies. How do we do that? Patra assign a graphic EQ on the output feeding the monitor mix. Set up a mic on a stand by the monitor. Bring up the mic slowly in the monitor mix until you hear that it's nearly on the edge of feedback. Can you hear it? There we go. Okay. Now, on your graphic EQ, slowly push up each slider until it takes off. Then reduce that frequency that you've just identified as being the problem one. So fighting feedback this way won't affect the vocal that comes out of the main speakers. You don't want to mess with the main graph EQ or the EQ of that mic channel on the console. Uh, that would mess with the overall sound of the vocal through the main speakers. But when you slice out a couple of frequency notches in the monitor send, that helps any mic coming through that monitor and cleans up the whole overall sound on stage. 